My name is Angie Brown, and it's, it's wonderful to be with you uh, today. My roles and responsibility right now, I actually lead our store technology development team. And um, included in that is our order management system. And, and just to clarify what I mean when I say store technology is anything from our point of sale, when you come into our stores, to the systems that we use to mix your paint, to how we design your kitchen cabinet, um, to the systems that we use to, to manage and maintain all the copious amounts of inventory you see on our shelves whenever you shop with us. Uh, we also build our order management systems, which power interconnected retail. And interconnected retail to us is, is really the convergence of both our online and brick and mortar stores. I'm assuming most of you are familiar with Home Depot. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, most are, and when you think of Home Depot, this is what you think of. We're a very large retailer. We operate across North America in 50 states, Canada, Mexico. Um, by a quick show of hands, how many of you should have shopped with us? Glad to see it. <laughs> Fun fact, over 90% of the population is actually within just 10 miles of a Home Depot store but not as many people consider the amount of technology that it takes to power the world's largest home improvement retailer. Now, how many of you know why we're at OSCON? <laughs> no hands. <laughs> we have a growing set of technology hubs and innovation labs across the US. Our headquarters are actually in Atlanta, but we also have a facility in Austin and Dallas the Bay Area, and right here in Portland as well. Across North America, we have approximately 3,000 technology associates, and we're adding another 1,000 this year alone. I share all this as background is what it takes to operate a $100 billion retailer. At the center of all we do to create experiences that delight you when you shop with us is technology technology in our stores, in our supply chain, in merchandising, in our corporate systems, and of course in our digital experiences. And as you know, speed is the name of the game. The pace of retail is fast. It's really fast. And we say that it's changed more in the last four years than it has in the last 40. Our customers demand more, quicker delivery, seamless shopping, seamless checkout, interconnected experiences between our store and brick and mortar. And, of course, the speed of technology is moving at at least double that pace. Yesterday, you may have heard from actually two of our associates who spoke about our personal transition from waterfall to agile. We push ourselves to be faster and more efficient in our development. And that's also where open source comes in for us. I mentioned our size and scale earlier. We're a big company, but we do try to operate like a really big startup. Technology is a differentiator for us. When we look ahead over the next three years, we're investing $11.1 .1 billion in our strategic initiatives, and $2.9 billion of that is in technology alone. That said, we also look to build our highly tailored and optimized solutions in-house. We do that a lot. In fact, we do it over 90% of the time. We're building our own software. Open source is a key ingredient to help us more quickly develop the custom solutions we need to power our business. So how are we using open source to help us build? Actually, we've been using it for about a decade now. Linux and Tomcat have powered our store compute platforms for almost 10 years. And our mindset now is open source first. Some of the ways that we're using that are with homedepot.com. It's the world's largest e-commerce, one of the world's largest e-commerce sites, and it's completely homegrown. We use open source solutions like Cassandra for storage, Solar for search. We also have a customer order management system that helps connect the orders from all of our channels. Think buy online, pick up, and store. We use Elastic for search here, and we use Redis for caching to help our associates track and assist with orders with ease and speed. To process at scale, we use distributed computing frameworks like Spark. We create cloud-native software that's highly available on multiple data centers because we must be extremely responsive and we must scale. And of course, we use machine learning to help 
crunch terabytes or even petabytes of data for our forecasting systems and more. So there's a lot going on. And we always ask ourselves what's next. But before we do, I do want to acknowledge how indebted we are to the open source community. We've talked a lot about our size and scale and our accomplishments, but hopefully you see through here how critical open source has been to us. We learn better with you, and we thank you. Our contribution to open source remains strong, and we look our commitment, and we look to continue to increase our contribution. I mentioned earlier that our teams are growing, and as we grow, this collaboration will remain an essential part of our success. Collaboration with our teams, with our vendors, and with the open source community. As we continue to learn and grow, we look forward to building the future of retail with you and together. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you today. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about Home Depot and why we're at OSCON. We have a number of our associates here this week. I encourage you to connect with us at booth 515. Thank you for your time.